The Chicago Bears have made a trade. Ryan Pohl traded pass rusher Robert Quinn to the Philadelphia Eagles for a fourth round pick in 2023. What's going on guys? I'm back with another Chicago Bears news update video which I'll be doing anytime there's Chicago Bears news going on which there might be. Some more videos coming out in the next couple of days if we do end up making more trades because the trade deadline is on November 1st so that's fast approaching. Um, so we'll see if the Bears do anything else but today they traded away Robert Quinn okay the oldest player on the defense right he's been with the Bears for the past uh, two and a half years now he got signed by Ryan Pace not by this regime by Ryan Pace back in 2020 and Ryan Poles had decided to trade him to the NFC leading Philadelphia Eagles for a fourth round pick next year the Bears will also be taking on a portion of Robert Quinn's salary which I'm not sure how much they're actually taking on it doesn't say um, as of time recording this video but even when taking that into account the Bears will be saving money next year against the cap by making this trade right because Robert Quinn was under contract for two more years so again not sure how much money we will be saving but he was uh, set to count against the cap for 18.2 million dollars in 2023 well now he's no longer gonna be on the roster so I'm assuming the Bears with this trade will save at least eight million dollars maybe ten million dollars next year which still is a lot of money right and the bears already had the highest cap space in the nfl next year and this brings our cap number to probably around 130 million dollars next year to spend so the bears are just adding to their boatload of money that they they will have to spend next year by making this trade but more importantly they also got draft compensation in return which in my opinion guys this trade makes a lot of sense for both sides. Whether well, Philadelphia is wanting to go for it right now, they're wanting to add as many pieces as they can to make a Super Bowl run, right? Because that's the team they have right now. Okay, they're going for it. They have the best record in the NFC. So adding an older pass rusher, you know, you can always use guys like that on a Super Bowl level team. And you know, even though Robert Quinn, he only has one sack this year, maybe he can be more productive on a better defensive line like the Eagles have. So good trade for Philly, but also great trade for the Chicago Bears right because the Bears are fully in rebuild mode okay Ryan Poles has completely reset this roster he traded away a lot of the Ryan Pace players he cut a lot of them too so like this roster is completely I'm um, undergoing a overhaul from the bottom up we're trying to acquire cap space we're trying to acquire picks to build for the future and that's just what he's doing with this trade right now okay trading away a player that had no future on this team okay Robert Quinn was probably going to be cut by the end of this year okay just because we had younger guys like Dominic Robinson and Travis Gibson stepping up and playing bigger roles on this team than even Robert Quinn was and obviously this team is more built for like 2023 2024 and beyond so Quinn was not going to be here for the future okay when the Bears actually do have a title contending window hopefully okay he would be too old by then because he's already 32 years old right now his age does not align with the ages of the rest of our roster okay we're trying to rebuild this roster with younger guys and that just it, it would not have worked out right so getting draft compensation for a player like that that you're probably going to get rid of at the end of the season in my opinion is a slam dunk move by Ryan Poles I'm not going to go crazy over it because obviously it's only a fourth round pick and yes you maybe would have liked to see more but realistically guys we were not going to get much more than a fourth round pick for Robert Quinn especially since he's 32 years old so like older players in general don't have much trade value but also guys his stats are not that good this year okay he has not been close to as productive as he was last year and that's continued throughout his entire career okay he's had up and down years he's had one year where he's been amazing the next he's like not productive at all okay like last year he had 18.5 sacks for the Chicago Bears broke the Chicago Bears all-time sack record or sorry single season sack record but this year he only has one sack okay and he only has eight total tackles he only has three quarterback hits and like he's been outproduced by a rookie Dominic Robinson so it made sense to get rid of him and the fact that we got a fourth round pick for him you should be excited about that if you are a Chicago Bears fan because getting more swings in the draft for a young team that's going to rebuild the roster from the ground up that's a very good thing right because the more swings you have the more hits you probably are going to have that's one thing that Ryan Pace never understood right and that's why the rosters in the past for the Chicago Bears always lacked depth they always lacked you know talent at key positions because we just did not have enough draft picks I mean Ryan Pace kept on trading away our draft picks which is also part of the reason why we were in cap hell the last like three years of Ryan Pace's time in Chicago and so far Ryan Poles has the complete opposite approach compared to Ryan Pace I'm not going to guarantee it's going to be successful until we see actual results until we see you know what picks he makes next year until we see what money he spends next year because you can't crown a GM until you see 
results actually happening but ryan poles has put himself in a very good position to completely overhaul this roster and make it sustainable for the long term okay we don't want to just be good for one year like a 2018 and suck for the next four years right like we want a situation where we can be competitive for five plus years okay hopefully like 10 plus years if you play your cards right if you are ryan pulled so getting a fourth round pick for robert quinn when he wasn't that productive this year when he wasn't going to be a part of our long-term future i think that's a big w by ryan pulls right and now he has a bunch of picks in next year's draft like he has a first round pick next year he has a round two pick he has a round three pick he has two round four picks now because he got an extra one from this trade he has one round five pick and one round seven pick too so we have seven total picks in next year's draft and i'm sure ryan poles is going to turn that into even more picks by trading back like he did in last year's draft okay last year we didn't even have a first rounder he still somehow came up with 11 picks in last year's draft just by trading back over and over and over again and again when you have a roster that just has so many holes on it okay the bears roster even though we completely blew out the patriots last monday night in foxborough this team still has huge holes on it it's still not you know contending team and if you want to build a contending team you're going to need to draft wisely you're going to need to spend wisely too and ryan poles has put himself in a position to maybe do that next year with all the cap spaces cleared up and also with all the draft capital he has accumulated so uh robert quinn man i wish you the best of luck i mean this guy was a classy bear he was all business i mean even though he only had one really good season in chicago so yes his time in chicago mostly could be viewed as somewhat of a disappointment i mean last year he did break our single season sack record had 18.5 sacks was one of the only you know bright spots of 2021 so i will appreciate robert quinn for doing that for us and you know hopefully he has a good time in philadelphia okay he can be you know a, a good asset to that philadelphia eagles defense and for dominic robinson man for travis gibson this opens up a lot more playing time for them which i'm so excited about right because dominic robinson especially he's been flashing a lot as of late okay he had a couple batted passes last game he had a couple pressures on the quarterback he has 1.5 sacks on the season which all came in the first game but hopefully he gets back into the stat sheet with a starting role now on the bears defensive line and you know he technically outproduced robert quinn as a rookie so like there's another reason why this trade is good for the chicago bears okay the guy that we're trading away you know he got outproduced this year by a rookie and this rookie now gets more playing time because we traded that guy away and we're also getting draft capital and you know cap space by doing this trade so like i i genuinely cannot understand how any bears fan could be mad about this i think most bears fans are going to be happy about this trade because it's good for both sides okay it's good for robert quinn it's good for the bears and you know hopefully we turn this fourth round pick into a good player down the road and use that cap space on good players as well but let me know what you guys think about this trade in the comments down below we'll see if the bears make any other moves i doubt it but uh, let me know your thoughts down below as always bear down